JD Aliens, welcome back to the show. And to you new guy, girl, welcome to JDL TV. I'm your host, Antoine. You'll never see my tax returns, Richardson. And today we're going to be looking at the Tick Watch C2 Plus. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's start off with one of my favorite things about the watch, which is the styling and build quality. It looks like a watch. It's got a round face and a round casing. That's what watches are supposed to look like. But when you put it on your wrist, you will see that it is on the thick side. So you're going to get a little bump in there. However, you do get over that really quickly once you put it on your wrist. It feels really nice at nice and at home and comfortable on the wrist. They do come with two. Dude, why are you so far back there? Get on in here, man. That way we can talk about this. Look. Okay. So it does come with two 20 millimeter watch bands. This is a black leatherish one. It says genuine leather right here. Can you see that? Genuine leather. And it feels like genuine leather because it's got it's it's kind of thick it's not like that you know i don't want to take shots at samsung but samsung will send you a um a genuine leather watch band with their watches and it's like this thin flimsy stuff that almost feels like paper this is kind of thick man it really does feel like genuine leather particularly on the outside this inside might be some type of other material but on the outside definitely feels like genuine leather and this is a uh, like a super dark navy blue or almost like a blue black kind of color but the one i have on right now which is the one that uh, uh, comes as an extra in the box is a silicone band and let me go ahead and take it off i have a fairly uh decently large wrist and i can get down to about two notches on this thing so if you have a larger wrist you might want to shop around for some larger or uh, longer wristbands and once again this is a 20 millimeter strap so so taking a look at the watch right here like i said it's got that nice classic look to it uh, i'll let you see the sensors on the back that way you can see what's going on back there there's your charging pins and you see this dial right here well it's not a dial these are actually just push buttons so this is your power on and power off if you hold it long enough and you can also do uh, your your voice assistant here, which will be Google Assistant because this is Android Wear software that we're running on here. And then this one right here will be a customizable button that you can customize to open up any app that you want to. So since I brought up software, let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. In my experience, it has run really smooth. Once again, this is Wear OS from Android, so you're gonna get the entire app store and stuff like that. So you're gonna have lots of apps uh, for selection and you're gonna have uh, the Google Assistant built in, which I can really appreciate because I use the Google Assistant a lot. So with that, you get to choose a lot of different faces. So let's, let's go into the faces and we'll see. Oh, I'm pressing too much at one time. Okay, so let's press and hold right there. Then we'll slide through and see some of these faces. I like this one right here. This one makes me feel really active, man. And like I said, you can customize them. Some of them do have little gears that you can press and you can customize either the... Um, the uh, the colors or what elements you'll have in it let's take this one back to the green because like i said man that one makes me feel really active but swiping through everything seems to be really smooth and that lends more confidence into the processor that this thing is using uh, it seems to handle the os really well now i'm right here where it says uh, beats per minute this is my uh my uh, heart rate monitor right here so yeah you do have it on the back and that's a good thing because it will measure your heart rate which seems to be fairly accurate as long as you're not you know doing jumping jacks while you're trying to measure your heart rate. But since I brought up heart rate, let's take a look at my workout widget here. Um, you do get to have lots of widgets. So before I go into the fitness part of it, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can look through some of these. You can only have up to five widgets on your screen at one time. If you want to add or remove them, you can either do it here or you can go into the app itself on your phone. But let's go ahead and bring this back up. That way we can look at some workouts. I have three, my, my three most common ones here, which is, uh, I, what is this? Cir probably circuit training or weightlifting. And then there's walking and then there's the occasional run I might do. <laughs> I don't run that much though. But then we can go into more and we'll see some of the workouts that it has. So let's just kind of scroll through strength training uh, challenges and other workouts my workouts and stuff like this and this is actually from google fit to be honest with you it does have a proprietary mobvoi uh, fitness app that they have they're actually doing a great job with it i just happen to have google fit right here on the face of my watch but let's see if we can go into the uh, the tick exercise app so we'll go into the tick exercises it opens up right there see it's moving kind of snappy and then we got a lot of stuff going on right here we got a lot of data and i'll take you into the app right now just so you can see what else is going on inside so once you download the mobvoi app on your phone you can get into these uh the, this tick fitness 
uh, section of the app and it'll tell you a lot of data right so let's go ahead and just click on anything and it'll open up your calendar to show you when you worked out and you know some data from your actual workouts I haven't done much working out with this particular watch just yet but I will tell you that the calorie counter and everything else seems pretty accurate and right on par with my galaxy watch that I use sometimes so now I want to take you to tick health once you open this up you'll see here that same circle that we saw in the app but inside of here we get to track you know our emotions and feelings so that's actually something pretty good if you're someone who's been going through a lot and you want to keep track of you know what what you've been going through and how your feelings have been because you know this day and age people can slip into depression really fast so you kind of want to track that stuff I'm always feeling good so I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here I'm excited today because I got this watch in my hand and it is clutch but we have a whole bunch of data right here and we can kind of scroll up to see what else is going on. There's my calories and how many miles I've walked and stuff like that. There's the heart rate and the mood today and other things. Let's go into settings and see what that's all about. OK, so you can enable daily goals and all kinds of stuff there. And right here, this button on the side is going to act as a back button all the way. Well, let's just call it a home button because it took me straight to the home screen. Now, this button right here on the bottom, I really like this one and I wish a lot of smartwatches would do this. This button right here you can actually customize it I've customized it to be my um, my Google keep or Google yeah Google notes my Google keep app because like when I'm in the grocery store shopping I like to look at things so uh, I like to go into this where it's just shopping list and it shows me my shopping list I, okay so the wife put on some townhouse crackers some bar sm uh, bar soap some rum <laughs> some bacon hold on <laughs> okay let's see let's see if we can actually click on that so yeah okay so oh man so let me uncheck that so I'll actually remember to get it so while you're shopping in the store you can actually touch this stuff and click it off just like you would if you were using your phone this way you don't actually have to pull your phone out of your pocket so that's really nice that I can have this button customized to be my Google notes or my Google keep let me hit it one more time because this is like probably what my favorite part of this watch this customizable button and I've got mine as my Google keep and right there it just defaulted into my shopping list I mean you have no idea how awesome this part is right here just to be able to go straight into my list and check things off or see what kind of notes I've taken let's go back home now when it comes to notifications you're going to get all of them this thing doesn't have a speaker on it so you won't hear any beeps or anything like that but you will get buzzed on your wrist all day if you have all those notifications checked on your smartphone to get uh, to get them on your watch you will not miss notification because the vibrations on this watch are good <laughs> I haven't uh, decided to go try to turn them down or anything like that I'm not even sure if you can but I will tell you that the vibrations are good you won't miss a notification you'll get all of them one of my favorite things about the notification is that since it's Wear OS when you get uh, Gmail and stuff like that you get to really interact with the uh the stuff you get to read the entire email and you get to respond and stuff like that so that's been really nice uh having this watch able to do that because a lot of watches won't let you go that deep into your notifications to the point where you're actually interfacing with the app itself now i mentioned earlier that it doesn't have a speaker on it so you won't be able to listen to your music or take phone calls you can answer your phone calls but it's always going to direct you to pick up your phone uh, as far as music goes like i said you can't play music on it but you will get music controls as you can see right there there it's saying what I have playing on my app right now so let's go ahead is it playing right now let me see let me turn this up a little bit yeah it's playing so that's Marky Mark's good vibrations right there and let's see if we can actually toggle it to kick the track forward or backwards so on the watch if you're working out or something and you've got your phone you know maybe over on the bench or something like that you can always go to your watch and change the track bam so now we got bust a move this must be my 90s playlist right here <laughs> so we got young mc bust a move and you can actually control the volume on your watch so let me go ahead and just kind of tap that up you see how that's working it's actually kicking up the volume all right let me pause that before i get a copyright claim but that's really nice to be able to control your music at least on your watch even though you can't listen to it uh, on your watch so you can't just be taking this watch out as a standalone device you're always going to need to have your phone handy because it is a bluetooth watch as my very first wear os watch i got to tell you that the tick watch c2 plus has been nice to have on my wrist i think i'm going to go ahead and shop for some longer wristbands because like i said mine are kind of 
Uh, my wrists are kind of large for these wristbands that it comes with. To be honest with you, I thought this was actually gonna be a little bit small for my wrist as far as the casing size, but it looks like a normal watch. Watches these days, especially men's watches, tend to get a little large and uh, you know it, it kind of makes you feel like you got this big weight on your wrist. This one right here, it just kind of blends into your wardrobe. It doesn't call for too much attention. And if you match it up with a good stylish band, I mean, it comes with great bands, but if you match it up with a good stylish band and get your nice face going, this is going to look real good on your wrist, man, especially with some casual outfits. It doesn't really just call for too much attention. I know I said that already, but sometimes you just don't want to attract a lot of attention to a piece of jewelry, which is what this watch is. It's a smart watch, so it actually has functionality as far as notifications and interacting with your phone without actually having to touch your phone. But that doesn't mean you have to walk around looking like you got a gigantic piece of jewelry or a piece of smart tech on your wrist. Sometimes you just want to blend in, man, and that's exactly what this thing does, and that's why I really like it. If you're curious about battery life, I know on the watch face it says about 18%, but I'll go ahead and tell you that I've been wearing it for over a day and a half, and that includes two workouts and just regular casual use between uh, maybe responding to about one or two messages and, of course, reading every notification that's come through it. So you're definitely going to get a minimum of a day and a half out of this thing in casual use. Usage. You know, I always say I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know I've been enjoying this TickWatch C2 Plus on my wrist for the last couple of days. Oh, I just got a notification from Bike Barn. Oh, they got an event going. Did y'all know I'm an avid uh, mountain bike rider? But that's for a whole nother video. <laughs> I got to get out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed your time with me. Hey, y'all keep being good to each other. And by the way, throw me some emoji hands up in the comments section, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?